Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into the Flash. You guys have been requesting this non-stop and I am going to give you what you want. All right, little wobbler, time to become the Flash. And I'm stalling, um, I'm stalling basically, because this might be hard. The biggest, most important part of the Flash is the helmet. With the, the big red, yellow ear things. And there's a couple ways we can do the ear things. The first way is this here. The legacy hair, because these obviously could be the ears of our lovely fellow, of our lovely Flash. You take this, you turn it red, but the problem is all of a sudden you've got this red beard to deal with. And I don't know how to hide the fact that you've got a red beard so that we can have these wonderful yellow ear things that Flash has. Now Flashes are smaller, but again, we have tabs where we're limited with what we can use. So I'm not sure if we're going to do the ear thing. Now, the other direction we can go is just dodge the ears altogether. You go over here, you click on your suit, you go and get your spandex suit. Guys, again, for the 500th time, a superhero with a skin tight spandex suit. Are we honestly shocked? It's been the running gag this whole time is that every single superhero wears spandex. And it's just true. How do you argue it at this point? Watch this guys, right? You take the red, you take the yellow, boom, you've already got a beautiful beginnings of what the flash is going to look like. And you can just leave his head like this and call it a day, but I want to try and figure out a way to do the ear part. But the problem is, I, I don't know what we've got in here to do it. Aside from the, the Viking helmet with the beard, I don't know how else to make the pointy bits for, for flash. Oh, Tabs Gods, bestow upon me a beautiful headpiece to give me the Flash ears. No, we can't use the Tab G. <laughs> the Wolverine here. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm glancing through this trying to find that moment of inspiration. That, aha, the light bulb over my head. Love. Oh, yes, this is exactly what we need. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. Just bear with me. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to see if I take this, right, and I take this... If somehow we can make this work, like this, this is close. I mean, if you think of the picture, it's close. It's in the right vicinity for the yellow earpieces. But now he has no eyes. How do we, how do we give him eyes? I can't just go to the, the units and be like, hey, boom, put some eyes on his face. No, it doesn't work that way. You put a skull in his head and give him eyes. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. What about, what about like goggles? What if I, what if I make fake goggles that are like fake eyeballs? I can't believe I'm doing this. I, this might work. I, I'll just, just search goggles. Hold on, guys. This might work, okay? If I was to take, like, superhero-like goggles and put them the correct red, right? But now, look. Now there's nothing there because his eyes are being covered by the visor. He no longer has eyes. What if I... The war goggles. What's about to happen, guys, is I'm about to make it so that this version of Flash is gonna have the white-eyed look, okay? Do you, do you see what I'm doing here? Or no, wait, oh, wait, 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 move, move, move. What if I go and get like, what if I get eyes? What if I grab eyes? What if I, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so what has happened is I've given Flash the earpieces, but in doing so, I had to give him white eyes. Now, technically, he doesn't have white eyes. Technically, in his costume, his eyes are uncolored, and he's one of the rare superheroes that shows his eyes. But in order to get the earpieces, we had to do this. And now I need to, like, adjust the shape. Can I adjust the shape of this flash head? Like, it's close. <laughs> it's not quite there. Okay, let's, let's come back to the flash head in a little bit. Let's worry about the rest of the suit. So we need to have yellow boots yellow gloves we have a lot of a lot of yellow to add actually in some renditions he's got yellow boots and gloves in some renditions he has red with yellow trim so it depends on which angle you go at though the yellow boots seem to be the most consistent let's start there looking for the really high yellow boots it could do the vampire boots those aren't bad right take these colors them yellow like that's not bad that's pretty flashy because his boots aren't like flaring out they're pretty skin tight so the vampire boots do a really good job in that regard he also needs a belt he needs a belt so we're gonna go grab a belt is that located in the legs of the torso that's located in the torso go over here to the torso and grab a belt and we have lots of options of belts i could go with a really obvious like tab g belt uh, look at me i am tab g man uh no because because flash's belt is kind of more more subdued and subsumed and more chill so I need a more chill belt. 
I like these gun holster belts minus the gun holsters. Not the sash, not the utility belt, not the tied off belt, none of these. This one's not terrible. If I take this and I color it yellow, it's not terrible. It's the right thickness for the, the flash belt around the belly. Okay, all right, all right, all right, we'll work with it. Now the gloves are red with the yellow trim. Red with the yellow trim. How do I pull off red with yellow trim? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room to spend this night together for now and how do the lyrics go? I can't remember. Boom! Red with the yellow trim. Wow, this, this flash is coming along nicely. Now, how do we do the symbol on the chest? I mean, sometimes, there is one symbol in this game, guys. One. Okay. If I go over here and I go sweat. What? Hoodie? Is it hoodie? Hoodie. We could just slap this hoodie on him. Right? And take the hoodie and make the symbol yellow and take this and make it the correct red. And now all of a sudden, Flash is wearing a hoodie. He's got the chest symbol and you're like, yeah, chest symbol. But now Flash is literally wearing a hoodie. Uh, I like it, but I don't. Oh, I love the chest symbol. I don't like the hoodie. God, that's so good. That's so close. All right, we need to find another symbol method. So usually we go with the necklace part, right? We go with this one here, because this one leads off that yellow right there in the middle, like that. A beautiful yellow, the cord, a beautiful yellow. Perfect. Now he has a symbol in the middle of his chest that could represent the flesh symbol, but clearly there is no flesh symbol in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, our visual appearance for the flash is finished. Comment down below and give me a score out of 10 and tell me how you feel. We did, considering this is tabs and we have limited options, how well did we do making this guy? Now for the powers. This is interesting because Flash has different powers depending on where you're looking for them. So two of the powers are very interesting to me. Obviously the superhuman speed, stamina, reflexes, agility, and endurance are really interesting. And then the electricity and lightning manipulation is also very interesting. And the accelerated healing factor is fascinating. Now there's wibbly wobbly time powers with Flash, but we don't have that in this game. So let's focus on the speed and the lightning. So what kind of, what kind of attacks his hands? If I can give him a lightning punch, that would just be like perfect, right? But I don't think we can give him a lightning punch. I don't think that exists. Now I can use the ghost hands and then change this weapon of the ghost hand into a lightning spell. Hold on a second. What's a Tesla cannon spawn? What is that? I'll check that later. So using the ghost hands, you can shoot the lightning, but you're actually holding on to the lightning bolts. The last thing you want to do is have Flash holding on to lightning bolts. I mean, he's not actually Zeus. That's just silly. So, if I run a quick little test, his ghost hands should be able to fire lightning. There you go, he fires lightning. Fantastic. We have lightning powers with our ghost hands. But that's not really where I want the Flash to really have his power. So, he has amazing reflexes and agility. And we're going to include that. But there's a couple of abilities I'm very interested in looking at. The Tornado Swipe is interesting. My, 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 hello, game. Are you broken? Okay, it's fixed. Cannon barrage. Okay, uh, tornado swipe. Okay, it's fixed. I don't know what happened. The tornado swipe is pretty good because see how it launches this tornado? That's interesting. Um, by Flash. That's interesting. I think the Flash can make a tornado by spinning in circles. We've seen him stop tornadoes, so I'm pretty sure he can make one. On top of that, hurricane slash. So if I remove the tornado, the hurricane slash is perfect because all of a sudden you can see him. Come on, hurricane, hurricane slash. Um. There it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Whoa, super speed, slashes through people. I think that's perfect for the flash. Hurricane slash. Uh, we're gonna add tornado swipe. I think it's really cool. On top of that, we gotta give some agility. He is very agile. So we're gonna give him quick draw projectile dodge. We're gonna give him a backwards dodge. And I'm thinking we're gonna give him like gesture dodge. He's gonna dodge like a madman. Power of lightning, lots of dodge. But you guys are gonna ask the question, Crow, how, how fast? Are you gonna make him? Hit points. We'll give him some hit points, but he's not super easy to kill. Size is fine. Unit weight is fine. Movement speed. We need to test this. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. We're gonna give him at least a 50 times speed. We're gonna start there. Attacks will increase out a bit and damage will increase out a fair bit. Take a picture of our lovely Flash character. Now let's test that speed before we continue. Test the unit. Um, There's a tornado ability. Lighting ability, and I'm waiting for the speed, but I'm not really seeing it. Is it because I gave him lightning hands? 
He's just kind of like avoiding using his speed. If we remove the lightning hands, will we see him speed around? Throws out the whirlwind. Okay, he's using his speed now. He's 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 all over the place. I can't find him. <laughs> I lost sight of him. <laughs> he's, he's, he's going too quick. This is just for testing, but I can't find him. He's over here. There he is. There he is. There he is. Does he need to go faster? Does he need to go faster? I can think the only way to give him an earth shattering punch or a really strong punch is to do the giant punch. So maybe we'll have to do that so that way he can be in melee and run around and, and taste, taste things and, and chase things and do his thing. So he throws a tornado. He's got the lightning projectile block. Tornado's just kind of flopping around. Where did he go? There he is. Using the lightning slash, which is an amazing perfect ability for him. And then he's in there and able to do his punching. I think this is pretty good. One last week. Let's put the movement speed to 100. I say we uh, take him for a spin. For our fight, we are going to have the Flash versus Sonic. Oh God, that was way too crazy. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna have the Flash versus Black Panther. We're gonna take this wobbler and upgrade him into Batman. And there are multiple ways we can build this Batman. We can go with like the old school gray kind of Adam West Batman, or we can go with the new school armored up looking badass Batman. And I think we're gonna go with the newer one. Oh, and I just uploaded Deadpool to the workshop. Just search my name, you'll find him. Batman, Batman, Batman. How do we start with you? I think we start with the armor. I'm looking for like a chest plate and cape combo, or maybe for a specific cape. I mean, this one jumps out to me, right? You take this cape, you take the chest armor, you color it black, or I don't want to go black, black. I want to do like dark gray. Cause I, I, why is the cape red? Hello, you shouldn't be red. Why does this game do this to me? This should be gray and the cape should be gray like that. But for some reason I get visual glitches every time I design a unit. I want to remove that for now. And apparently my wobbler is completely just, just, can you just stand normal? Please, Mr. Wobbler, not like that. Okay, we'll do with the armor in just a second. Let's get the hero mask because we're making Batman. So we're going to do the very standard, very typical, same thing, make our little superhero mask like this. And then we're gonna grab the war mask and add that as well, thereby giving him that beautiful white glow. Because again, like I've said in every single video with superheroes so far, nobody wants to show their face. Everybody wants to hide behind their anonymity. Does this mean we add the Balaclava? Like the Spider-Man Balacl... Oh my god, I can't do it. I did the wrong spot. Balaclava. Look, this is actually not terrible at all. This is actually kind of looking like a Batman, but Batman needs like pointy ears. How do we give Batman pointy ears? Um, what about cat ears? <laughs> Can I hear these go back? <laughs> it looks more like Catman than Batman. <laughs> Let's take those off for now. Let's see if we can find something decent. Um, horns? Horns? There are some horns in the game. Like, 
Devil's horns? If I make these the correct color? Mm, I don't know. It's not very bad, man. Is there a style of hair that can pull off of the Batman? The Tab G Wolverine hair kinda does it? You know what's sad? You know what's really sad? I think we're going with the cat ears. These ones or these ones? These ones and the, these ones, I think. I, I guess this is how we're gonna do Batman? All right, no more talking about, we gotta get this, uh, this body covered up and turned black as night. So let's go grab our skin tight skin suit that we always grab, the Tab G wetsuit, because once again, for the 100th time, superheroes like spandex always have Always will, because they have this beautifully amazing physique. They just want to show it off. They want to show off all their muscles. Need to cover his hands, cover his feet. Just, you know, stereotypical superhero kind of stuff. Oh, you know what we need? Well, first we're going to grab the, the will, 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 will gloves. The gloves we always grab and call those the right color. But we also need the wrist blades. Remember, remember a video a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I mentioned that the wrist blades are only ever worn by bad guys, while they're also worn by Batman, who's a vigilante and beats up people. So is he really a good guy? One could argue just how good Batman is. Let's color that black. And the blades we should probably also color black with a slightly less black edge of the blade. There we go. And now for some quick little boots. Boots, I need, I need boots, boots on this guy. Do we go with the, uh, what was it? What was the little slick, slick shoes that worked great? Was it the Renaissance? No, it wasn't the Renaissance. It was a uh, uh, Wild West. These ones, Wild West shoes, fantastic. And they blend in perfectly. Now Batman needs a belt. He needs his bright yellow utility belt. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's uh, a farmer's belt. This one right here, and it's yellow. Even in the modern take, with all the body armor, it's still yellow. So we're gonna take it, go into the yellows, and I'm gonna go a bit of a darker yellow color. That's really bright. This, is the belt part black? There we go, yes, right there. That's fantastic. I mean, if it was all yellow, it'd be just a bit too much but the black helps a lot to make that Batman look. Okay, the body armor part I'm having a hard time with. Let's try and find the right cape. Let me just type in, can I type in cape and find a good cape? I need something that screams Batman. Just the most Batman of Batman capes that, is that a bat? Is that a literal bat on the, that is. You know, you know, we take the red, right? And we color it black and we take the red and we color it black and we take this and we color it yellow. <laughs> I mean, Batman has never worn a cape with a clasp like that, but that's not terrible. <laughs> it kind of works. We'll hold on it for now. He needs his body armor. We, we got to beef this guy out because we are talking about the modern Batman. So my first instinct with the body armor was the Roman chest plate, right? Which isn't bad. But what if I went down to the military? Where, where, where are those military armors? I know they're here somewhere. Here we are. The military armors. Do any of these work? I kind of like this one. Because this one worked really good for Iron Man. Can I take this and color it in the right colors to help? It kind of does, but then it covers the belt. We can't cover the belt. How dare we cover the utility belt? And the, the cape's kind of small. That's a downside of this cute little cape concept. That is, that's a tiny, tiny cape. All right, remove the tab G vest. Let's go grab that, that centurion chest plate with a centurion cape again and let's color it so it works see black cape that is a double cape i like that clasp but it's a double cape ah the clasp oh it's difficult oh it's a why is it cape red why are you doing it this game hates me it won't let me do the simplest things i'm gonna make this yellow i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it like blue oh look it can be blue it can be blue no problem and the chest color is also wrong. And then the cape is longer blue. It's now red. And it's blue. And it's red. And it's blue. It's, it's blue. It's red. It just changes color all the time. It never ends. It never it can't decide. It can't make up its mind. I know that if we go to test the unit, the color is perfect. So, okay, hold on. Hold on. 
Can I pause time? I love the yellow clasp around the neck, but it's not Batman. And now Batman has two capes and that's just weird. Ah, take off the stupid cape. This Batman needs some leg armor. I mean, we have pictures of Batman, of the more newer modern Batman, and it's got some vicious leg armor. It even has shoulder armor. So let's see if we can do that and give him a little more beef, a little more mm. That that's That's code for beef. <laughs> and strength that that man grunt shoulder armor we use these on iron man they look really good on iron man so if we're gonna do that here for the batman yep a little bit more shoulder beef a little more mm, as we uh worded it before and now the legs there's only really one option for legs and that would be the medieval plate other than that there's no there's no leg armor first where, where am i going medieval there it is thick thigh plates give them a little more thickness on the legs even though those are great those should be black there we go a little more thickness in the legs what about boots i mean in in these modern images he's got some pretty nice looking boots so maybe we skip we dodge the wild west shoes and we go and get him some real boots i mean we could do the medieval boots right i love these things they look phenomenal they are phenomenal and they really give him that more of an armored feel and, and his feet are poking through. Maybe I'll go and grab those Western shoes still. Okay, maybe we'll grab those Wild West shoes as well just to help cover up those feet a little bit more. I can still see red in his feet. That's annoying. Aside from the cape being red, the Batman look is coming along. Does he need gloves aside from the Wilhelm gloves? Because his hands look kind of unarmored. Remove the willy 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 gloves and I put on some better gloves and like armored gloves. Or I take the Renaissance hand guards and I continue with the armored look and still add the silly little willy will gloves, right? Just to cover the hands and make those go the correct color. That gives them a little bit more armored look down there. See, see that layered hand look? That's what I was going for because he's wearing battle gloves, combat gloves in the pictures so that gives them a bit more layer a bit more texture to the hands more of a combat look and the cape is driving me up the wall it's not supposed to look like that it's supposed to look like not even that because that's the wrong color too it's supposed to look more like this if there was some way to give him the yellow batman symbol right there on the chest i think we'd nail this now there is something to be said about the fact that in the pictures for batman you can see his chin Right, you can see the bat chin. Do we remove the Tab G wetsuit? Do we remove the balaclava? Do we rework this entire thing one more time? I think we will. So instead of the wetsuit, we're going to do the uh, skeleton outfit, which can still function as the wetsuit did, but leave his face uncovered. Now we gotta cover the top of his head. He's not looking like Catman and looking more like Batman. Big difference. Huh. This knighthood is not bad. It's a bit of a weird shape, but it does kind of what I wanted to do by keeping the face exposed. I mean, when we look at the unit, everything's not bad. His chin's there. You can see it, the yellow belt. It's all there. It's not terrible, but I'm not 100% sold on it. It really needs the symbol, but we're never going to get the symbol. Not in this game. No, the balaclava, it doesn't look right. The, the, you need the chin. You, Batman's got all the chin on the planet. He's maximum chin you've got to have it oh, i did it i made the cape black okay okay i fixed the bug i don't know how i did it but the cape is properly black this looks pretty good i found a shirt that peeks through just a little bit and it's interesting because i can almost pull off the middle yellow symbol with it but it's not quite there but it's really close like like if i could just Remove the top part to yellow and keep that center a little bit. That would be okay. I'm hoping to find a shirt that can clip perfectly. Oh, the Egyptian necklace clips fairly nicely to give the Batman symbol to the chest. Like, I, I don't know what else in this entire inventory that can get remotely close to the center Batman symbol. Nothing. Nothing gets even in the ballpark. But this one's kind of close. It might be the contender. Well, guys, I have been through every single item in the game for the chest and nothing clips quite right to pull it off. So I'm leaning towards the Egyptian necklace to represent our Batman symbol. This is close as we're going to get in totally accurate battle simulator 
to pull it off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the visual appearance of our Batman. Comment down below and let me know and give me a rating out of 10 to tell me how close we came, keeping in mind this is tabs and we don't have access to everything. Now for the weapons, I think in the one hand, we're gonna go with a ninja star because the ninja star will be kind of like a batarang. Oh, it's a shuriken throw, my bad. Sensei shuriken throw? I like that one better. And how, how much that throw? That's pretty good. Even Batman just got shot. Don't my Batman. <laughs> He's gone. Bye. In the other hand, let's see what Batman can do. He's got a bunch. He's got the grappling hook. And aside from that, he doesn't have a gun. So what if I do an apple throw, but remove the apple and replace it with a harpoon? We don't want to do the peasant hand harpoon because that fires a hundred million billion harpoons. We just want to do the Batman harpoon. Just a single, no, I don't, want, I don't want him to physically hold the harpoon, but I want him to shoot it. So that's that's not gonna work. We will go with this for the time being. Now for the attacks, he needs to be really good in melee combat. So we're gonna give him all sorts of melee combat abilities. The Jester kick. We're gonna give him the Pirate kick. The Red Jade kick. He's just gonna kick all the things. A Taekwondo kick. Jester dodge, remove Taekwondo kick. Add a Shogun dodge. Stats will give him some HP. Size will be fine. Weight, we're gonna give him a lot of weight. I don't wanna be knocked around too much. Movement speed is fine. Attack speed is fine. Damage, a little bit higher. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, in all of his glory. The Batman, and he's ready to throw down. Now it's time for Batman versus Naruto. Oh, it seemed like Naruto just beat Batman. <laughs> this time it's Batman with no harpoons versus Deadpool. You know, we've made a lot of Marvel characters here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, but not a lot of DCEU characters. I mean, we made Batman like ages ago, but that's it. I'm pretty sure he's the only one, guys. So today we're gonna make a new unit. We're gonna upgrade this Wobbler and turn him into a her, into a Wonder Woman. Well, at least I'm gonna try. <laughs> First things first, let's find some hair for this lovely person. So it becomes a lovely lady. And we have to find the right hair. I mean, you're not going to drop, you know, a Zeus beard on this person. That's just wrong. It needs to be long. It needs to be luxurious. This is not quite it. It's not quite long enough. Too much beard going on. I'm really not sure which hair to use. Banshee hair? No, I don't think so. No, she's not going to be Goku. We're going to skip that. We're going to find it. It's gonna be here. This isn't bad, but I don't think it's long enough. Wonder Woman's got that epic long hair. This is probably as close as we're gonna get. Take this, color it dark like that. I don't think we're gonna do much better than that. There's not a whole lot of female hair options here in this game. Now we need a headband, right? You need that tiara thing going on. So let's just try tiara. No, okay. Let's just try crown. <laughs> is there a crown? 
There's nothing here either. Okay. Um, uh, let's just let's look. Let's just manually go through all of the options. This one's not bad, but it's going the wrong way. If I could like take the crown, turn it upside down, it'd be perfect. But it's not quite there. Honestly, I'm looking for a tiara, and I don't think we're gonna find a tiara. And it really makes me sad. All right, all right, all right. If I can't find a tiara, let's look for something else. Let's just try a head. Band, sporty headband. You know, if I take that and I color it yellow, that's not bad. Tab G bandana, that actually might even be better because it goes lower on the face. Hold on, is there anything in the back? Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Remove that. We don't need anything going on in the back. I mean, well, did that other headband have anything going on in the back? This one here? Oh, no. Okay, take this, color this. A beautiful gold. That's really not bad for our Wonder Woman. I'll take that. I mean, we can't have it perfect. We're gonna get as best as we can here in this game. Not bad, guys. Okay, now the really hard part. Try to find the armor that looks like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has no shoulders, right? So if we're gonna do something like this, for example, there's nothing here in the shoulders for Wonder Woman. She's bare across the top of the chest. She has a strap going down the one side, and actually that strap won't be that bad, right? So if I go in here, uh, the strap's pretty easy. You come over here to the pirate section, you take the pirate belt, and there's a strap going across her chest from top left to bottom right, which is the correct direction. It needs to be darkened a little bit. You take this brown, you make the brown more of a brown brown, right? that, which is fantastic. And then the buckles you can take into a bit of a dark, kind of a gray going on. There you go. That is very much across the, the, the look of her her outfit, her appearance. But it doesn't lend itself to the problem of we don't have the right kind of clothes. As I talked about, body armor doesn't work. Body armor doesn't work. Body armor doesn't work. Body armor doesn't work. Too many straps going on. I need something strapless. I need something strapless. You know, if we modify this a little bit, we might be able to make it work. Well, just, just bear with me. This is going to be really weird. You, you got to bear with me, okay? You make this red, right? You keep this gold. I'm going to make sure it's a really good gold. Look at that gold. That's a beautiful gold. These parts here, you turn them red so they, they mask in and they hide in amongst all the other red like that. And then what happens if you take this part and you turn it blue? But that's not quite right. You see these blue things across the chest? That's, that's not right. Okay, let's turn this red. Okay, just, just bear with me. Turn that red. And what if we find some more blue, a, a blue in the lower half, because she has a blue dress with a, a golden belt and then a red top. So we need to go into here, into the legs, and try and find a really good dress. I mean, like a red jade skirt, but then I turn it blue, kind of like that. It's, it's not quite right. It's, it's the right concept, but it's not the right execution. Oh! Oh, 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 bear with me. Watch this. Take that. Turn it blue like that. Now we're talking because if you look at the pictures, she does have this golden belt going on and this could be like the golden belt and then you've got the blue dress and then you've got the strap and then you've got the red top. It's really not that bad. Oh, you know what she needs now. She needs her epic red and gold boots. You know, <laughs> take these, right? Color them the red like that. Beautiful red, beautiful red. Can I add some gold in there? A little bit of gold going on? Give me some of that shin guard action from the, the, the medieval section, right? Take this, some shin guards. Oh, should I like thinner shin guards? That's just too much shin guard going on. Oh, right, these ones right here. Take the, the, the knee armor, right? Take the knee armor. And then we color it gold, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, we are on to something. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then after the and then, you take the strappy straps and then you color the strappy straps gold, right? Look at that. That is fantastic for Wonder Woman. That looked really, really good. And then she needs her bracers, her awesome deflecty McDeflectum bracers. You know what I mean? Deflecty McDeflectum bracers. I, I don't know where that phrase came from. I'm so sorry. Let's go with the medieval wrist guards and take this steel and color it a bit of a lighter steel color because hers are not gold. Like, am I my brain? I want to color them gold. But no, hers are kind of a steel color. Just like that, Wonder Woman's coming along nicely. And then there's a couple ways we can do the 
weapons for Wonder Woman, you can do the sword and shield, which is a pretty common sense kind of concept. Her sword is pretty simple in terms of its, its hilt design. So what I would do is like a gladius. I mean, you could do a gladius and that would very much look like a like her weapon for sure. I mean, part of me wants to go with a Valkyrie sword, but the gladius makes the most sense, guys. I gotta be honest. Come over here, take the brown color, right? Gold. Back of that. Fantastic. And then I could do a shield. This Righteous Paladin shield is very much, it's almost too big. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's almost too big for her. Is there a bit of a smaller shield? I mean, the design on the shield is fantastic. The size is totally wrong. The Ottoman shield's not bad. Ah, that's a really good size too. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go with this one. It's just the right size. I can't color it though, which is really awkward, but at least the color scheme kind of matches. It's the correct size. It's not as big as the last one. The other option than the shield is the lasso of truth. You can honestly give her a lasso. Can I color it? Oh, oh, I can color everything but this part. I can color what's in her hand. I can color the top, but I can't color in between. Are you kidding me? So what do you guys think? Do we do the lasso of truth or do we do the shield? I'm leaning to the shields mainly because of the wonky color thing going on. I'm thinking shield. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the visual appearance of our Wonder Woman. Comment down below. Give us a score out of 10. I give this one a 6 out of 10. There are things I wish I could do limited by our, our choice options. But overall, it's not too bad. Now, aside from the abilities, first and foremost, she needs a deflect. You guys have seen what she can do when she's shot out with bullets. Her godlike deflect is the first thing we're going to give her. Then we're going to give her a super jump because, man, this girl could jump like that. I also want to give her a teacher's parry because she is quite adept at fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat. From there, I want to give her a bit of an AoE ability. So I'm thinking the giant foot stomp so that she can actually do some damage to multiple enemies at once as opposed to just using her sword and then a hurricane slash so that when she does use her sword she uses it rather well statistically we will give her our avengers level hp so that she's just as strong generally as her other units movement speed she's quite fast attack speed is quite fast and damage well it's one of my units so you jack the damage a whole bunch take a picture of our lovely wonder woman just like that and now it's time to take her for a spin here is our Wonder Woman, check her out. She looks good. She's ready to charge into battle, and her opponent is going to be our only other DCEU character, which is Batman, who we made a long time ago. And honestly, I don't know how strong he's going to be. So we're going to find out the hard way as Wonder Woman leaps in, jumping over the batarangs thrown by Batman. But Batman continues to just chuck the batarang. Where is the deflect? Where's my godlike deflect, Wonder Woman? You should be able to handle Batman's projectiles. No problem. Um, is godlike, oh, what just happened? Today, we're going to be creating none other than the brand new Black Adam, because I just watched the trailer and the trailer was awesome. And now I want to make Black Adam in totally accurate battle simulator. So first things first, how am I going to turn this little wobbler right here into an epically bulky, powerful Black Adam, Dwayne Johnson kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work, but first things first, we're gonna grab a suit. He needs a suit, not a suit that goes up past his neck at all, but he needs a suit. And my default is to go with the skeleton suit and color everything not black. He's not black, it's a charcoal gray. It's this dark, dark gray, not completely black. This is a beautiful base. For Black Adam, but the problem is, um, one, I've got a hole here in the arm. I need a, I need to find a way to cover that. I need, I need, I need a shirt or something to cover that, and then I need to figure out how to do a lightning bolt, a yellowish kind of lightning bolt symbol here in the chest. What I might need to do is go deep into the, the shirt section and try and find something that will clip beautifully and and, and not cause boobs, right? We <laughs> don't need boobs on Black Adam. I know Black Adam's got chest muscles, but that's not quite right. We need a lightning bolt. Guys, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Black Adam. And sadly, I couldn't find any inspiration in the workshop. I was hoping somebody else had designed a Black Adam so I could look at that and go, hmm, I like this. I don't like this. I want to use that. But nobody 
has even attempted to make a Black Adam. So this is gonna be a world first, totally accurate battle simulator Black Adam. As I search through these shirts, there is a way to make a lightning bolt-esque thing in his chest. It does exist, it's a necklace. But I was hoping to find a shirt that clipped in just the right way to create that epic lightning bolt kind of deal. And I'd love to try and bonk him out a little bit, but I'm afraid of ruining things. Now, Black Adam is sometimes seen with a big necklace around his neck, but it's only rarely. Because Black Adam is more, oh, 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 it's almost there. Almost like a Shazam type character. So it's actually a skin tight kind of suit. And see, this is one way you can do the lightning bolt. We've done this with Spider-Man, right? Where we use this as the representation of the Spider-Man symbol. That's, that's close. If we could add to it, if we could expand upon it, if we could improve upon it, we could have a winner. Like you see this set right here? If it wasn't for the stupid arm spikes, or the neck piece, you could take this red mark, turn it yellow, and that could represent even better. But you got all this extra stuff that Black Adam doesn't have. You know, there are times where you see Black Adam with a hood. Like, I'm not kidding. I mean, look at this picture right here. Here is hooded Black Adam. So could I do that? Hold on. Let me, let me just, let me just, oh, oh. So hold on, if I take this and I turn this gold, and then I take this, I turn this, the gray, it's, hold on, I'm, I just wanna look at it. I wanna look at it. That kinda helps with the lightning bolt look and it still have the black hood. I mean, if I could take this and turn this into the yellow, but it's just too much, right? It covers too much. No, we gotta, we gotta go back. We gotta make that, huh? What do, you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Like, why is that black? Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. this should be gray, like that, yeah, yeah. Test unit, okay, he's the right color. So it's, it's. Yeah, I'll hold on to it for now. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I'm not absolutely sold on it. I mean, this is the more hooded look, but he doesn't have a cape. If I give him a cape with the hood look, it could be black. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give him a cape. I'm gonna give him a cape. Okay, we're, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Cape? <laughs> I need, uh, this one's not bad. No, no, it's too short. I need a longer, longer cape than that. Do I have to go all the way to the ancient faction and grab the chest plate slash cape? combo like uh, that's a great way of doing the cape right where where's my agent faction hello there's agent faction right but then as soon as you do that this chest plate even if you color it the right kind of gold or right kind of gray it covers up the lightning bolt and it doesn't give him a cape and give him a weird chest plate uh no nope nope i need a better cape i guess this was actually you know what looking at that picture right there again comparing the picture this is really good like this is really 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 good in terms of the cape i'm going to turn that gray as well like that's that's really good for the cape black adam and again this chest piece that includes the hood gives us a better lightning bolt in the chest it's it's pretty amazing guys now black adam has on his okay i may not be sold in the cape part we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see i want to do the rest of the, the outfit so we have a, a belt that is also the same shade as this. We gotta find a really good belt. It's 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 a, a multi-layered kind of buckle. No, <laughs> no, not that. It's like this plus another belt. It's like a couple of belts together. So if I do this, okay, we take this belt, we color it gray because this his belt doesn't change out of his outfit, right? And then if I add another belt. If we add another belt that kind of overlaps. Hold on, let me just look through these. No, no. no. Thanos belt. No. <laughs> you guys want to do a Thanos belt? Uh, no, 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 Looking for belts, looking for belts. Too low. And these are what well, modded belts. So let's go up here. Let's go up here. Let's grab something like this belt. Just kind of layered. Actually, you know what? This Wilbur belt, you can actually see it there. Again, we're gonna color it the gray. It's just for layering. I right? give him that double belt look like he has in the pictures. And he's also rocking these armbands, leather armbands. Okay, tight, tight, tight leather armbands. I'm gonna see if I can find a perfect example of that. Let's take a look. Looking at these Black Adam bracers, I'm gonna go with something like these Roman wrist guards. And again, they're, they're, just, they're the same color. It's kind of a simple color scheme when you think about it, but it's just, it's a matter of adding the, the, the layer and the texture to the armbands, but I'm not done. Those armbands are not quite textured enough. Any additional layers of armbands? I hope you close. Emperor's armbands. Nope. I need more, more texture, more layers in there. And hopefully not something too crazy or out 
there and he, and he, and he and layers and texture layers and texture i'm looking for that's not bad i'm actually gonna take that and include it the shaman bracelet from the one mod just to add layers and texture to the wrist cards that's nice i'm gonna add even more you, you think i'm obsessed with textures and layers but I, <laughs> we gotta do this right it's gonna look great as close to a black atom as we can get our hands is that too much i think that might be too much too much layer and texture there i'm just kind of like what's this spooky banshee actually i think that right there take the spooky banshee take those colors i'm great that's plenty of layering now there's some texture and layer you got the texture and layer belt the texture and layer bracers just like the picture it's fan fantastic the only problem with the hood look is that it gives him this weird flared hip thing going on right so if i remove the cape and the hood combo and we go with just this it gives him the proper skin tight look that black adam has as well as visibly and easily being able to see the belts the overlapping belt just like the picture and then the bracers just like the picture I, I i know that the hood and that particularly the shirt adds to the lightning bolt effect here in the middle but it's it's i, I gotta do this though i kind of want to give him the cape regardless <laughs> Because there's scenes of him wearing the skin tight suit with the cape. So I kind of, I just kind of want to like give him the cape anyways. But it's got to be like a really big long cape. Uh, 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 uh. What's this cape look like? It's kind of just coming off of him. There's no like clasp. It's just like literally like coming off of him. And uh, none of these capes are quite doing it right. Hold on, what's this? Thor's cape? Oh my god, did I just put- Am I just adding layers and layers of Thor's cape? Hey, what am I doing? Guys, look, 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 what is this? Oh my god, there's so many capes on his back, it's buckling his knees. I'm sorry, Black Adam. I've spawned like a hundred capes. <laughs> okay, I fixed them. Sorry, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I just broke your legs from capes. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, man. Is there another cape that comes off his shoulders that isn't Thor's cape, but comes off nicely? Uh, that's not bad. Uh, medieval cave's not bad. I'm not sold. This one? This one's kind of a ratty looking cave. Hold on, let me make it, let me make it gray. Uh, uh, this cape's okay. His cape, I don't think, has a ratty bottom to it. Let me look at the pictures. You know, his cape is kind of destroyed. All right, we're going we're gonna to go with that. We're going to go with that. Now, what about his legs? What do his legs look like? I have to go watch the video. I think he's wearing shin guards, guys. So judging from the video, he does have armored kind of boot shin guard things going on. So we're going to give him some booty shin guards. And also we're continuing. Actually, I might... Uh, I don't want to do those because it's too much bulk. So I kind of want to do... Uh, 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 uh. These shin guards are nice and low. Okay. I like these ones. Okay, and then we're going to do it with some armored boots going on. Something not too bulky. Can't be too bulky. So I'm leaning. Ugh, I don't like the little brown bitty fits there. Those are better. You know what? These, these ones are not bad. Okay, everything becomes Black Adam Gray. Because <laughs> that's how this character goes. It's just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's got that armored. He's got that armored boot look. And the shin guards, fantastic. I'm going to look through the video one more time and then see. I mean, he does have the hood in this scene. The hood is sick. Ah, oh, man, what do I do? So after watching the video, he does have the bracers, the belt, the boots, skin tight suit. And sometimes he's wearing a cape, sometimes he's not. So for now, because in a lot of the scenes, he's not wearing the cape. I'm going to remove the cape. And this is about as Black Adam as Black Adam can be. If I can continue to find another way to expand upon the yellow thunderbolt in the chest, we've won. But other than that, like, this is about as Black Adam-y as you can get. Hold on. <laughs> this is kind of silly. If I take the Raptor Rider, take this, color it gray. Then take this and color it. No, 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 not, not this color. This color. If I add it, it's a little bit more to the lightning bolt. I don't like the necklace. I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it. It's close, not quite. I wonder if I take something like this modded superhero outfit. No, man. See, I saw this symbol in the middle. What I wanted to do was I like the shape of the outfit. You know what I mean? I like it's a little bit it makes it look a little bit more muscly. You know what I mean? But now, now that I've done this, I've completely lost the chest symbol. So as I can find something that pokes through there to the degree and then ma it makes him stronger it gives him the shape but i no longer have the symbol okay if i can find something we win 
If I don't, this gets removed. I am in love with how strong he looks now for Black Adam, but ugh, I gotta find something. I gotta find something that pokes through that chest. I've looked so hard. Wait, 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 wait a minute. No, if I, no, I had a thought, I had a thought. I could actually take a hat, a helmet, and drag it down there and make it work. But what happens is, if you ever, watch, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate, I'll demonstrate quickly. Let's say I took this mask, right? And we make the pattern of the mask gray but we leave this no no that's another color we leave this as beautiful kind of gold right and then let's say i wanted to use this as my 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 lightning bolt in the chest i would go to the prop sizing i would go and i would grab the mask there is a miscellaneous mask and then from there we can modify the size of it and all the jazz and modify its position move this to negative one okay and then modify its position we can drag it down i could move it out and by doing this i can put it on his chest like that like i can literally turn this mask into a chest i have no face i just realized by doing this i have no face what have i done <laughs> i gave black adam no face okay as i was trying to demonstrate i could give him this lightning bolt and it's like oh wow he's got a lightning bolt in this chest it's great right i mean disregard the fact that there's no eyeballs anymore um, also turn this into the dark gray so that the inside of that is gray now. So here's the problem. When Black Adam goes to move around, hold on. The, the chest plate is, the helmet is moored to the head. So as the head tilts, the, the mask on his chest tilts. So it doesn't work. You can't use it like that because it gives it this wonky thing. So it would take a great picture, but it wouldn't work. Let's remove the mask, give him back his eyes. Now, I can kind of take this Egyptian necklace. I can't use that one. Other necklaces will have access to. I can't really use that one either. So if I take the Egyptian necklace, can I modify? No, the whole thing is just gold. Uh, okay, what else, what else? Come on, like, I'm so close. I love this bodysuit. It looks so good for a muscly black Adam, but I need a way to do the lightning bolt. Uh, maybe I take this necklace, I take this part and make it gold so close guys i have looked far and wide but you know what i like the superhero suit and the bulk and the strength it gives him so much i'm sticking with this as the look this is the visual appearance of our black adam without cape and without hood comment down below and give us a score out of 10 let me know how well we did with black adam now this is where things get interesting because black adam is a little bit ridiculously op I'm giving him, because I've watched him punch that plane, I'm giving him the uh, super peasant punch. He's going to zoom. He's going to zoom around the map. It's the only attacks that makes sense, because he can fly, and this way is going to give us the ability of flight. And honestly, I don't think we need to give him any other abilities. He's insane. I'm going to give him like 400,000 HP. I'm just going to make him super powerful. Spies, he's actually, I'm going to make him 1.2, just a little bit bigger. You know what I mean? Weight, he's perfectly fine. Movement speed, I'll give it a 10. Attack speed, I'll give it a 10. And damage, I'll give it a thousand, just for funsies. Let's take a picture of our black Adam. Perfect, like that. And now let's t t take him for spin. Black Adam, you okay there, bud? Oh, you're back on your feet? That's good. Here is our Black Adam in all of his glory, except for some reason I faced him away from the sun. So he's literally just pure darkness. I don't know what I was doing. Visually, I think we nailed the look. And let's see what Black Adam can do against all of these squires. And sure enough, he's able to zoom through them with ease because he does have these super boxer sort of peasant punch and it makes sense what black adam is because he has a lot of similarities to superman now looking into his powers he does have some mystical magical powers he does not use very often and black adam went for a little trip down in the darkness and now for fun black adam is gonna fight some of my avengers you've got iron man spider man uh captain america uh hulk and the scarlet witch our most recent addition by the way, I love how she looks. I love her little mask there. Scarlet Witch looks great with the dark hold in tow. Let's see what Black Adam can do. And he's already beating the daylights out of the Hulk. He's going far too fast. Black Adam is saying he's spinning because of the ability launched by the Scarlet Witch. Spider-Man has lost his head. Guys, Spider-Man is still alive, fighting without a head. I don't know what's happening, but Black Adam has just annihilated the Avengers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below and let me know. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.